Hello students, Mr. Flick here, and I want to take a moment to show you how to make a proof of work video. Okay, so let me turn the camera around so you can see where I'm at. Look it, I'm in Studio B here, and in Studio B is there's this little curtain that leads off to this nice little room here where you can just set your laptop down right here, and then you will see that the proof of work questions are right here on the glass, and you can just record it with your microphone that's built into your, you just kind of close the curtain like this, block out all the other sound that's on the other side, and you can just talk to yourself in here and record your proof of work video. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my laptop because I'm gonna show you the other secret place we have that you could record your proof of work video. And you might still be thinking, Mr. Flick, I still don't get what a proof of work video is. Well, it'll make sense in just a moment. Okay, so I got my laptop, I'm walking over here. I'm gonna just open up the door here, come into the back storage room here, and look, I got proof of work questions right here on the wall as well. Okay, so let's talk about recording it. So I'm gonna go here on my laptop, I'm gonna go open up the little spotlight, and I'm gonna search for QU, which opens up QuickTime Player. I'm just gonna tap on the return button here. That launches QuickTime Player, and you're like, wait a minute, Mr. Flick, nothing looks any different on your screen, but wait you can see that QuickTime Player is running because that's the only thing it changes is the word up here changes to QuickTime Player. So if you lost it, you can always go back to the spotlight, look for it again, QuickTime Player. But once you have it running, and notice nothing else is different on your screen, just go to File, and then go down to New Movie Recording. Now, if it's their first time, it might say, do I have permission to use your camera, and do I have permission to use your microphone? And hey, look, there I am. Okay, so let's get this all nice. Let's tilt this up here so I'm nice, nicely framed. Okay, so now you can see me, and I can see the questions. Okay, so you've got that. Step one is ready to go. Let's go ahead, and uh, I'm just using the microphone on my computer here, and it looks like my levels are okay here. Like, as I talk, hello, hello, hello. Oops. Hello, hello, hello. I get good levels, so everything's looking good there. Okay, if you've got earbuds in, okay, you need to check to make sure that you're recording off of those. So this is called a carrot, this little upside down um, triangle right there. It's called a carrot. We're just going to tap on that. And it shows all the different microphones and all the different cameras. So I'm using my FaceTime camera. I am using my internal microphone right there and uh, my quality is high. So you might need to select a different microphone if you're using earbuds or maybe it's automatic, but that's how you check it. Do not touch this little volume control right here. That's for monitoring yourself and it can be all the way down to nothing, okay? That's where it's supposed to be, so everything's good. Okay, so it looks like everything's good here. I can just hit record and then you say who you are. Hi, Mr. Flick, uh, this is Mr. Flick, and I'm doing my proof of work video for robotics level one. Okay, so you let me know what proof of work video it's for, and then you just go up to the questions and answer them one by one. What part of this Tech 2 surprised you? Well, I was surprised at how difficult it is to mount the sensors on the robot or something, you know, like you, you tell me what surprised you about your Tech 2, okay? And then you come up here and answer the second one. What do you think the most important thing you learned from doing this Tech 2 is? I think the most important thing I learned from starting off in robotics is that programming matters, like every little bit of it. If you just are off by one little number or one little letter, your robot doesn't work at all. Okay, so see, you just give me an honest answer about what you learned, uh, what was the most important thing you learned. Then question number three, what part of this Tech 2 challenged you the most? Um, I think it was when I had to go in competition with other robots. I learned very quickly that my robot didn't have enough weight on it. So that really challenged me to come up with ways with using Legos to make my robot heavier so it could fight better. Okay, so that's see what I'm saying. You just do that. And then you answer the last question. How do you feel about the final product? Well, I feel really good because I beat everybody. No, I don't know. Whatever you give me, good, honest answer. And you can see, let's see, our video right now, even with me telling you all these things, is a minute and 27 seconds. I want your proof of work video to be around a minute to maybe three minutes, okay? So anything over a minute, that means you've given me enough information, but under three minutes so that you're not talking forever. So when you're done, go ahead and press the stop button right there. Okay, so now it's stopped, and then I'm just going to come up here to File and go to Save. And I'm going to give it, I'm going to save it to my desktop because that's the easiest place for me to find it. And then for a title, I'm going to give it uh, P O W for Proof of Work Robotics, Robotics 
one, and then my name, Brad Flick. Okay, so I'm gonna save that on the desktop, come down here and hit save. Okay, now you have a proof of work video and it's ready to go. And of course you just then uh, upload that to the folder that you've already made on the Google Drive because you followed the video uh, about turning in your first tech two. But this is everything I need for a proof of work video. So again, a proof of work video is just something that lets me know how you're doing as a learner in my class. And it's something that I can maybe review with your parents. So when you're talking, you were talking to me and possibly talking to your parents, but those are the only two people that would see it, two groups of people that would see it. Anyhow, uh, I can't wait to see all the great things you've learned, okay?